What's your favorite emoji to use? Okay, there's one emoji. Every time I try to, like, everyone asks me and I always am trying to explain it and no one understands the emoji, but it's the one where it looks like you're whining. Like, you know the whining face? like, <laughs> I can't do the face, it's so bad. Hey, what's up guys? Nicole Koch here in the Young Hollywood studio hanging out with Natasha Bray. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Of course. We're actually so excited to have you because I don't know if you know, but we recently had your mom in. Yes. Because our CEO, shout out RJ Williams, who played Ricky the Favorite Boy yes. on Full House. Your mom. I watched the interview like two days ago. Oh, you I did? I was coming here, so I was like, I wanted to see Did you watch like part I, two? No, I, yeah, I watched the whole thing. Oh, oh gosh. It. It what really did you think funny. about it? Oh, it was so funny. <laughs> My mom's a hoot. She's, I don't know, some of the stuff she says, I'm just like, why are you saying that? Well, again, welcome. We're so excited because Thanks. let's be real. Congratulations Thank on your you first book. So much. This is honestly amazing, and Thank you. you look so great in that oh, first photo. Thanks. It's a very happy photo. It <laughs> is really happy, and it's so it's so bright, like you're in the sun and yeah, life. it's really summery. It. It's really I love the colors. It's very spring. Yeah. yeah. So I want to know what inspired you to write it. I mean, you're only 18, right? Yeah. Okay. So for me, I mean, a huge part of the book is obviously it's about being real and it's about being authentic. But for me being a teenager and having social media be such a big part of my world, I was noticing that there was this cycle of like comparison. If everyone just compares themselves to the next Instagram photo or the next YouTube video or whatever it may be. Yeah. And me, obviously being someone on social media, I started getting those comments of like, oh, you know, your life seems so perfect or you have the perfect life. And I'm thinking in my head like, no, I don't. Like I have so many issues that I go through that I'm not sharing on social media. Definitely. So I didn't want girls to look at me and think that. And I wanted to open up about the topics and the situations that I do deal with and kind of shed light on those things. So that's what I wrote the book about. And it's just about being real and it talks about a wide variety of things from like boys to body confidence to beauty and health to faith to relationships anything like that just kind of a good encouraging book for girls to read just to yeah. kind of be reminded of that um, okay so because your book is called let's be real we want to play a quick game with you yes okay so and it's about dating or relationships oh, because our viewers love to talk about that stuff. Me too. Also, well, good. Yeah. So do I. I, I love mean, that. Who doesn't love to talk about boys? I mean, it can't really get old ever. No. Right? No. Even if you're like Never. 80, Never. there's a cute old man walking down Never. the street. Never. You know? <laughs> okay, really quickly, I want to shout out Ansel Elgort because I heard he was one of your celebrity crushes. He's oh, I'm so obsessed with him. I'm That's so how I feel about Zac Efron. I Honestly. used to be on that train and like I've just moved on. But Aww, well canceled. that's okay, more Zach for me then. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's be real. We're gonna give you um, little situations and you would just, you're just gonna tell me what you would rather do, I guess. Okay. So the first one is, when you like someone, do you text them first or do you wait for them to text you first? I text first. I'm like really bold. Yes, I'm really be bold. out there. I'm very, <laughs> my friends like laugh at me because I just like don't care. I just go for it, you know. I love that. Power move. Exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, so <laughs> this was one for someone that was personal in Young Hollywood. She thought this would be really cool to ask. This happened to her actually. Okay. Um, if you're on a date and you're eating a chicken and there's a bone, do you spit it out in your napkin or do you just eat the bone? Like it's in your mouth. Like, like you it's already there. What would you do? <laughs> I Ansel would was in front of you. <laughs> I would. I would probably be like, I, if I had my purse on the floor, I'd just be like, I gotta grab something and then spit it. Oh, and that's then smart. spit it out. I probably wouldn't eat a bone. Would you take the napkin down with you though? Yeah, like okay. it's on because your napkin's on your lap, and then I should be like, one minute. <laughs> smart. I like you it. You know, if you're trying to be cute via text, are you flirty with your words or are you flirty with emojis? That's a good one. A little bit of both, okay. but I'm. Oh, it depends on the, it depends on the person. Sometimes, like, because sometimes when I'm like too flirty with emojis, I like look back and I'm like, that's no, like that's a hard no for me. Like do not do that, <laughs> too much. it just looks too weird. So sometimes I'm more flirty with my words, but it just depends. Like some, it just, yeah, it just depends on the situation. What's your favorite emoji to use? <laughs> okay, there's one emoji. Every time I try to, like everyone asks me and I always am trying to explain it and no one understands the emoji, but it's the one where it looks like you're whining. Like, you know the whining face like, <laughs> I can't do the face, it's so bad. But like, it's the one where his like, his eyebrows are like yeah. this and then his mouth is like, yeah. Like, <laughs> I totally know which one you're talking do about. Do you know what Yeah, I'm talking about, It's yeah. like the really dramatic one. Yeah, it's like, like what? Like yeah. that whining face. I just love it. So this is my expression 24 seven, so. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly which one that you're talking about. That one's my favorite. 
Um, okay, so you go to the bathroom and realize you have spinach in your teeth the entire time on the date. Do you bring Cry it up? Cry my eyes out. Oh. Cry my eyes out. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you bring it up as a joke or do you pretend it just never happened? Pretend it never happened. Okay. I will not acknowledge it. No, never acknowledge it. Nope. See, I would like call the guy out. I'd be like, I thought we were on some like level here where you would just be honest it, well with it me. depends is it like a first year or you've been dating this guy for a while see i would just do it no matter what no maybe see, that's I just wouldn't. me i'm like <laughs> my god i'm too embarrassed <laughs> okay when your crush keeps rescheduling you're not responding do you call them out on it or do you just move on i do both at the same time i call them out and then i'm like bye oh just, yeah i feel like that's another part of move. move yeah <laughs> i'm like so yeah i'm just very out there like you just gotta you just gotta say it, you just gotta do it, you know? Definitely. And final one, you are about to go on a first date. Do you go to dinner and a movie or do you like to do something active like bowling, going to an amusement park or hiking? Definitely doing something active like bowling I or just going to like an arcade or going to an amusement park. Like that's my, I feel like I'm in my element. I feel like it's more, you have to be so like, proper when you go to dinner, <laughs> but if you're just doing something that's more active, you can like really show your personality and be fun. And like, I feel like there's more room, There's there's more, there's less room to be awkward if you're yeah. just sitting at dinner because then it's like what if it's not going well then you True. then you're just you're just kind of stuck there at dinner stuck. but if you do something active it's like there might be other people around there might be you know stuff to talk about other than like your fork and knife so <laughs> maybe that that's what I feel about the movie date you know like yeah. why do people go on why movies? do people go on yeah I was gonna say on first dates you're no not talking does but I just don't personally understand no, because not, I want to talk to the no. person you know you're just not talking you're watching the movie <laughs> like I'll go to the movie but I go to the movie with like my brothers like I don't go to the movie right like, exactly yeah so one last time to bring it back to your book yes if you can end this interview on your favorite maybe <laughs> inspirational quote that you can leave for all of our young Hollywood followers what would you say? Um, my big thing is to strive to be the best version of yourself that you can be. I think that everyone always has like an idol or someone that they look up to, but they, they can never be that person exactly. That person was made uniquely and everyone was made so special and everyone has certain things about them that no one else has. And I think to embrace that and to um, work on making yourself the best version of, that you can be is so important. And so I think take those things that make you special and make you unique and use them to your advantage.